What's up guys? Welcome back to Flippin' Jiggin' in Texas Friggin'. Today, we're gonna be explaining my top five baits for this time of the summer. To start off in no particular order, I'm gonna go with the Striking Mini King Spinner Bait. This is a perfect bait for covering a lot of water along the bank. This comes in black and blue, this color, a white color, and I think a red color. My favorite is the black and blue in this color. Um, this is perfect for covering a lot of water and swimming it along the bank. And trust me, you'll get a lot of bites with this one. Just swimming it along the bank. My second bait is going to be either a, weight, a weightless wacky rig or a weighted wacky rig like this one. And all you're going to do with this is you're going to put some kind of worm. I really like this Strike King 4-inch Ocho. I really like it in colors green pumpkin, black and blue, and June bug. And all you're going to do is you're going to take this worm, put your thumb in the middle, and you're going to rig it, your hook, through the middle of that bait. And let it sit like that. And then you're going to tie it on, and you're going to hop it along the bottom, or you can drag it along the bottom. And this gets a lot of bites, especially when it's really hot and the bite's just really tough. This is gonna help you out a ton. My third favorite bait for this time of the year is gonna be some form of jig. I've got two with me right here. This being a flipping jig or structure jig and this being a finesse jig. The structure jig is gonna be great for any sort of structure that you're fishing, such as docks, uh, standing timber, um, grass or any sort of cover or structure that the bass are sitting behind or under. And I'll just flip this into whatever I'm fishing or like under a dock and I'll just hop this along the bottom and it, uh, it pairs really well with a, I don't know if y'all can see this, but a striking chunk right here. There's the striking chunk or a Strike King Rage Tail Rage Crawl. And this one, you you can literally fish it anywhere. I fished it along banks, out deep, docks, structure, literally anything, and it'll get solid, consistent bites. This is just a great overall. If you're wanting to get into jig fishing, I would go with this. This exact model right here, it's gonna be the Jewel Baits Finesse Jig. I really like Jewel Baits jigs. They're really good priced and they're really solid baits. And I'll pair this again with a chunk, or if I'm really wanting to go upsize and get that bigger bite, I'm gonna go with the Rage Tail Rage Crawl. And this, you're just gonna cast anywhere and you're just gonna bounce it along the bottom, just hop it. My fourth favorite bait for this time of year is gonna be a popper. This exact popper is a Molex popper, and I find it really good to just cast this along and you can either walk it or pop it just with the simple action of just barely nudging your rod tip and just popping it in. And you're just gonna fish this, you're gonna cast it out either along banks. I don't like to do too much out deep with this, but I like to go along banks on top of structure. Like say if there's a big branch in the water, I'll go on top of that and I'll just pop it through there. A lot of times I'll get really solid bites with this. And another popper that I really like, um, if you're looking to downsize, it's going to be a Rebel Popper. That is a really solid popper. But this Molex Shaman. Molex Shaman is a really good option. And my final bait for this time of the year, out of the top five, is going to be some form of frog. This right here is a Booyah Pond Walking Frog. And some good things to do with it. You can just cast it out. I really like to fish this on top of grass, lily pads, structure, along banks. It's just a really solid option when it's really hot outside. And some things that you can do to modify it that, in my opinion, make it a lot better. If you're getting a lot of just short strikes and they're just the bass are just eating it right here, a good option to do is going to be to trim the legs. It comes like in the package right here. You're going to want to trim the legs to about right there and you'll get a lot more bites because the bass are just going to have to engulf it all. They can't just grab onto these legs. 
another really good modification that I like to do with them. A lot of people don't do this, but you can actually take your hook, flip it around here, and you'll have this little hole right there where the hooks stick out. And I like to extend that hole right there and put in some form of rattle if you're wanting to get it just a little more loud and just really just get those bass to just be able to follow that rattle. Or if I'm, if I'm pushing through really heavy cover, like say lily pads, I can fill that same exact hole with split shot weights. That is a really good option to help to help that frog get through that vegetation a lot quicker. And that's probably my top five. Um, all of these baits are really solid baits for, for this part of the summertime. I mean, late June, or anywhere from probably June to August, these are probably my favorite baits. I really like all these. And all of these baits just seem to get really consistent, really solid bites all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoyed this. All right, peace out.